Hello, welcome to Real Talk, the pre-podcast. I'm Glenn. And I'm Nick. And here we're going to run down all the uh, new releases coming out in 2015. That's right. So, uh, first of all, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Good. Thank good, you. Good. Thanks good. for asking, Glenn. I'm excited to take this journey. Yeah. Together. I appreciate that you asked me that. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. man. A little pre-show banter. So. <laughs> yeah. We have quite the chemistry. Uh, all right. So, uh, what are we talking about today, Glenn? Uh, I thought we'd just go down, talk about all the different films coming out this year, and I was going to start off with one of my most anticipated films uh, of pretty, pretty much like the crappy uh, winter m- like months, yeah. Kingsman the Secret Service. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, well, I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, I've seen one, maybe two trailers for it, and mm-hmm. it, it looks just totally insane, and in a good way. Yeah. Like, it's just like there's so much going on, and so many cool spy things, mm-hmm. you know, with, with, with that umbrella or whatever. Yeah, yeah. if you've seen the trailer, like, I, I'm sure you'll be, you'll be, you'll be wanting to see it very soon. It's so, yeah. directed by uh, Matthew Vaughn. Right, who's who done X-Men, X-Men First, First Class, Class and, and I'm, I'm sure Kick-Ass? I think he did do Kick, kick Butt, yes, Kick Butt. I don't the, know. Uh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, and that, uh, he directed one of my favorite X-Men movies, actually. I love First Class. Because I thought it had a really cool like atmosphere to it, yeah. And I feel like this Kingsman has a weird, almost cartoony like acting. Yeah, it, it probably is more like Kick Butt more than uh, right uh, uh, X Men, but Kick, still, it's um, yes. Yeah. But uh, also, it it looks like a um, remember that Frankie Muniz movie, Secret Agent Cody Banks. Yes, it's yes. like a more adult version it's of like that. A, it's yeah, like a mature. Yeah, it's, it's a mature it's a Cody Banks. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, move on next. Uh, is, that, is that what we have? Is yeah, what we have? I, I think okay. that's basically what we got. Yeah, we got that. We got a. Uh, yeah, we said what we had to say. Um, ooh, we're getting a little naughty now. Fifty Shades of Grey. Ooh. It, also that same week. And yeah, that's such a that's gonna be a weird weekend. Yeah, yeah. it's it's Kingsman and uh, Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades. <laughs> yeah, all the you know. Yeah. Um, I have no. I'm not. I'm never gonna see this movie. Really? Well, I, uh, I, I don't want to give money to this movie. That's okay. why I don't want to oh, see it. Oh, right. You will, you'll probably, if we plop it on, if I have a DVD. Yeah, we'll, we'll, maybe. We'll, we'll but, like, it. I don't think it deserves my money. It yeah. doesn't. No. I just think it's, um, I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even want to pay, you know, pay money to see it just to laugh at it. Like, I, I, I don't even want to do that. Yeah. It, it, I... It's who's who's even in this movie? Like anyone of merit? Like anyone of note? I don't really know. Who cares? Yeah, it's Fifty Shades. I just like and it's <laughs> like, but I I thought this was gonna be some like uh, changing. Like, the next like, Harry Potter. No, no, no I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Jesus, don't put Harry Potter anywhere near <laughs> this. Harry Potter. It might. No, no, no. Shades of Grey. But I thought, <laughs> I thought uh, uh, Fifty Shades was gonna like they're saying like we're gonna make it X rated and it's gonna be. It's but it's like not. Change the genre. <laughs> what like, is it like PG thirteen? It's PG. No, no, it, it's R. But it's, oh, okay. And I think about like one fifth of the movie is with uh, like actual like uh, full of actual like sexual content yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like naughty, this, naughty parts. Yeah, yeah. but I, I mean, like, it just but the trailer makes it look so like ooh, like it's not like it's not like yeah, it's, it's trying it's to not, be like ooh, you better see this because no, yeah. it's gonna get pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Oh, this is bad. It's Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, like, like ooh, you better like this. It's yeah. so naughty. It's, it's yeah. just pretty much just fantasy for exactly. middle-aged moms. But, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm sure my mom will see it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, no, joking. I'm joking. Jeez Louise. No, my mom would never see that. Uh, Garbage. Do you All know right. the, did you hear about the last five years? Last five? Nope. I, I've heard nothing about it. I just wanted to say that Anna Kendrick is in it, and she's a cutie. And oh, now I, I'm going to see it. Yeah, and I, that's also coming out, but <laughs> no, it probably will make no money, not. but I will support it anyways. Um, okay, move Five on. tickets for five years, please? Yeah. <laughs> the last five years. Oh, here's my last five tickets for the last five years. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, uh, what else is coming okay, up? Okay, next... February 20th. Right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're jumping now to the next uh, movie weekend. The only movie that seems to have some significance is Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Oh, really? Okay. Um, okay. Um, unless there's a uh, Jane Got a Gun. Jane Got a Gun. Did you hear about this? I heard like all the like uh, drama, or not drama. There's a lot of bad There's been a, like yeah. a lot of casting changes and stuff like that. No, yeah. There's, uh, well, first, I feel like no one wants to work with Natalie Portman because first the director 
quitted, uh, quitted, uh, quitted, quitted. He he quit on the uh, like first day or something because of Natalie Portman. Not that I don't know. I like, can't do this, man. The Port man. <laughs> Natalie Portman is the only constant figure in there. I feel like um, Tom Hardy. I think was in there, and but it's just like was he the gun? I don't know. Like, but all these <laughs> like this entire cast like was everyone dropped out besides Natalie Portman. I don't oh, know wow. why. Maybe maybe, we, maybe she really needed a paycheck. I don't know. But, <laughs> But uh, I'm, it's finally coming out, and so I want to see what they did. And I don't know if I'll see what's it, going on. Uh, I'm just want. I'm just curious because all the backstory. Right. Yeah. But, um, see if it's you know actually a good movie or not. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. But we'll we'll see. Um, you said I, I've time. never. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hot, hot Tub Time Machine Two. Uh, yeah, I I never seen the first one, but really? there's a sequel. Yeah, the first one. The first one was funny. It was. I never I never seen it, but yeah, I think you'd like it. It's just like three guys. It's like a. It's like an okay version of 22 Jump Street, and 22 Jump Street is amazing. Yeah, so it's hilarious. It was like the comedy was just pretty much that, like mm-hmm. just these guys hanging out. And if you're into that thing, that's great. But I don't know. Um, the second one doesn't have uh, John Cusack in it, so right, he's I'm gone. Just, like, so like, he's oh, like, man, what's, what's yeah, else to do? Not gonna be in this. Um, uh, and then the next weekend, uh, we got the 27th, right? Yeah. Um, and we, uh... The Lazarus Effect. Ooh, I saw a trailer for that. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, um, now, this is with Mark Duplass. Yeah. He's the guy from The League. He, and he also is in um, that time travel movie that uh, it was really good. Uh, uh, Safety Not Guaranteed. Have you seen that? No, but I heard it's really good. Yeah, okay, yeah. He is... And he's like this weird... He does comedy one time, and then uh-huh. he'll direct a... A movie, and then he'll be in a, a drama. He was also in Tammy. This guy, Tammy, so, yeah, he's all over the place. <laughs> of all movies. Yeah, but <laughs> but no, but he now he's in this horror movie with is it Olivia Wilde too? I gotta yeah, she's in that. Yeah, yeah, and also uh, Troy from uh, Community. No way, really. Yeah, oh, wow. Troy. Yeah, who knew? Childish Gambino himself. Yeah. Jeez, Louise, that guy does everything. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, I mean, Lazarus Effect is a. Um, that looks like the most interesting, I guess, out of all of these movies. Really? Because we got what? Uh, Deli Man. <laughs> What's Deli Man? Oh, and all the rest of the movies. This yeah, on, on February twenty seventh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nothing. Nothing well, else. Really. There's also um, coming else that week is Focus, the Will Smith. Margot Robbie movie. Oh, okay. Maybe so, I'll see that because that looks kind of interesting. That trailer looks so weird. Did you like the trailer? It was alright. It, 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 uh, it looks interesting. I might, I'll, probably, yeah, I'll probably see it. I don't it. know. The beginning of that trailer just started with a man just like driving and then like slamming into another car and then like Will Smith gets out of the car. But you never see that man in, in the beginning of the trailer. You never see him again. So oh. it's just, mm. I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe Will Smith but, was that man. Yeah. What do you, it was like his disguise. What do you think of Will Smith, by the way, <laughs> lately? Uh, he's, uh, I don't know. He's, uh, he's like Johnny Depp. He's trying to do... <laughs> really? Yeah. He's like, he's trying to be good again, but I don't know. Well, when he's not pimping out his son, like, he can... And he actually just cares about, you know... I mean, it's going to be interesting to see this movie also because we got Harley Quinn and Deadshot in it. Right, yeah. Uh, They're Margot in the movie. Robbie is... Harley it's going to be Harley Quinn in uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, and Will Smith is Deadshot. Deadshot. Yeah, Margaret we'll Robey. see if they work uh, well together. You yeah. know, hopefully they do. Margot Robbie, like, uh, is that how? Am I, I'm gonna say that. Margot right? Robbie. Is it Robbie? Yeah, okay. I think it's Robbie. Oh, okay. If we're wrong, we're wrong. Well, Ed, well, Miss Mr. I'll call her. Is uh, <laughs> she? Uh, so, like, what, what do you think about her? She was in Wolf of Wall Street. She was. She was. Good she was good in that. Yeah, but like, I mean, you know, she's, she's not thinking. She's not in anything else. Uh, but she's already got this. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited because Wolf of Wall Street was such a big movie, and you yeah. know she had a big part in it. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like she's very pretty. Well, of course, you know. extremely pretty. Oh my lord, lordy lord lord. But she's also. Oh, can we say lord? Uh, we can say lord. We can say lord. We can say lord. All right. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Shane. But um, sorry about that. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know. I can't. Uh, I, I I'm I'm really curious to see like what else she can bring. She was she's really good in Wolf of Wall Street, but like I want to see what else she can do. Like something different. Yeah. She's, more than a pretty face, but she still acts with a pretty face. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I can't tell. Yeah, yeah she's looks, you know but... she's a, a a sexual symbol. Yeah, am I right? Sexual symbol. I don't know. I don't know if I can say sex either. So well, you just did. So well, we're I did. All, we're oh all man, right we're we're done. We're fired. <laughs> um, and uh, you want to move on to next week now? Uh, actually, there's one last thing. That oh yeah, coming out. Map to the stars. Ooh. And this is a 
Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not surprised you didn't hear it. It's this, uh, it's directed by David Cronenberg. Uh -huh. Cameron, not, your, our mutual friend Cameron and I were talking about this. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, it stars, uh, it's directed by Cronenberg who did all these like gory, like uh, uh, scary movies back in the 80s and stuff. And, right. Um, but it stars, the cast is really interesting. Uh, Julianne Moore. Oh, right after yes. This, and did you her. see Still Alice? No. No. Oh, she was... I have not. This is like... And like she's doing this right after uh, Still, Still Alice. And she's like... She's like a young Meryl Streep. Like, she's on... She's almost on Meryl's level. You know? <laughs> she's almost she's, there. She's almost on the Meryl level. But she's, uh, one more step and yeah. she'll be the next Streep. And um, Robert Patterson is in it. Ooh, my so, favorite. And, no, I'm joking. <laughs> well, like... He, and Patterson worked with Cronenberg in Cosmopolis, which I heard was pretty good. Okay. So I have to... I don't know, he can be good when he can, I guess. I and know. John Cusack, he left Hot Tub, hot tub Time hot tub, 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 to go to uh, Map of the Stars. So I'm really... This movie, the trailer looks insane. I, there's like... I think there's a ghost. I think there's a, a ghost? psycho. I think there's... A psycho a, ghost? <laughs> I think there's... Just weird, trippy stuff. I'm, Ooh, nice. I'm really excited. Okay. But, I like trippy stuff sometimes. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, for that okay, movie? after that, yeah, that's. I think that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we got a uh, March 6th movie you're really looking forward to. <gasps> oh. Uh? I am consciousness. I am chappy. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah chappy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I thought you were talking about the second best exact Marigold Hotel, but all right, I guess. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, the chap. Yeah, chappy. Never mind. Uh, so why are you uh, excited for this? I'm not uh, excited per se. I'm more intrigued. Oh really? Okay. By uh, seeing this movie, if it's a success, then you, we can finally say the director of the movie, Neil Blom. Neil Blomkamp. Neil Blomkamp. Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. Uh, um, he can finally do something good again because apparently Elysium was very disappointing to a yeah, lot of people. But we both saw um, District Nine. Yeah, District Nine was a good movie, and I liked it. You know, for like the visuals or anything, I feel like he. I feel that this guy Neil Blomkamp gets very preachy about uh, uh, about like politics or whatever. Right, and Elysium I, was this big healthcare. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Chappie will be a have a political message as well, yeah, probably. I, yeah, but if you can just tone that down, I think. Yeah, it'll like, probably be better. I know sci-fi usually like has like you know roots and like, right. like political like, messages yeah but like symbolism but yeah. it shouldn't be thrown down your throat you know I was yeah. like oh jeez I, mean, I don't know whoa well, it's in my throat because yeah. it, because it was shoved up never mind um <laughs> but anyways um anything else uh, uh, we got unfinished business I saw the trailer for uh -huh. there's that Vince Vaughn movie oh that's right yeah it's kind of funny it has Vince Vaughn like he I have no idea what he's doing. He's coming back in True Detective, the HBO. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I heard good things. Yeah, I so want to watch that show. He, yeah, so yeah. hopefully he'll. I don't know. Maybe this is his uh, renaissance, whatever. Right. Okay. But um, I'm really the only thing that looks funny is uh, Dave Franco was in this. Oh and right, yeah. He like Dave Franco. He's fine. Uh, yeah, he was in uh, the Jump Street movie. Yeah, right? I got such yeah. a man crush on Dave Franco. Hey, honestly. it's alright. Yeah, you're alone. Well. On that, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're alone on that. But he is a um, no. But like, he's just such a funny guy. And in the tra trailer, I was laughing at his parts so hard. But uh -huh. I don't know, it could be anything, really. Yeah. Um, um, what else? Second best exotic marigold hotel. Were you uh, never heard of it have you seen until the first right one? now? Oh, have you seen the first one? There's a there's a first best exotic <laughs> yeah. marigold hotel. <laughs> they just call it the best exotic marigold hotel. But oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the first best. Like they knew they were gonna make a sequel. Don't worry, there's more uh, hotels coming. Just think of like, uh, like, do you like Brit do you like old British people? Um, old British people. Yeah. Or oh, like like well, Maggie Smith old. Well, they're gonna Judy die Nash. soon, right? I mean. Yeah. So well, I guess so. Yeah. Well, this is the perfect movie <laughs> for you then. <laughs> oh really? It's all old British people in India and also Denmark. in India. In oh, that's my my favorite country. Yeah. Well, good for you. Okay, I like all countries actually. So. Oh yeah. well. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. But the, you know the um, uh, Dev Patel. Uh, he's the Indian guy in Chappie. Right. That's right. Uh, he's so in the. Uh, he's also in another movie coming up that weekend. Uh, the second best exotic marigold hotel. That's such a hard name to say. Yeah. Oh say that three times fast. I will not. Oh. Second best. I can't even do it once. <laughs> All right. Um, um, yeah, I think. But that, that's that about weekend, it. We'll move we, on. Yeah. We got Cinder. Okay. We got we got March thirteenth next week. Uh, after that, we got Cinderella. 
Okay, what? I don't give a you don't crap. Care, you don't care about? Yeah. I don't give a crap about this movie. Well, I, who's playing the... Cinderella? Who's playing, yeah, who's playing Cinderella? <laughs> you, with your hands, you're like, Cinderella, with jazz I don't, hands. I don't know, yeah. Who's but, Cinderella? Uh, but no, like, who's playing Cinderella? Like, who's, I don't know. Kate Blanchett was playing, like, the evil stepmother, right? Right. So, uh, she just, I don't know, like, she's good, and it, I feel like everyone else is kind of... I don't know what to think. I feel like most people are going to see that movie just to see the uh, Frozen short in the beginning. Yeah, the Frozen fever. That's yeah. That's yeah. probably why a lot of people. Um, it looks like Lily James oh. uh, is playing Cinderella. Do you know this Lily James? I feel like no, I don't. Actually. I no. I don't think I know anybody I here wait. except for Helena Helena Barton and Carter. Clay, uh, Kate Blanchett. As right, and her. Yeah, yeah. The, the Lady Tremaine. But okay, I forgot that Helena Bottom Carter. Is in that? Yeah, she, she, is a, she might be good in it. She's a good actress. She's always. I like her. She's like the female Johnny Depp. But I guess. Uh, <laughs> maybe I don't know. Maybe I mean, will. I guess you know. Well, mm -hmm. she won't be in any uh, Tim Burton movies anymore because they divorced. Oh, yeah. you didn't know about that? Oh man, wasn't it like right before Christmas too? Yeah, Merry oh, Christmas geez. to him. Jeez, that's, that's a nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, we're settled down. We're just flying along um, here. <laughs> uh, uh, what else do we got? Uh, run all night, actually. Never. You saw heard. the trailer for it, actually. When we oh, was I did. Off, it was. Um, yeah. That, it was that Liam Neeson movie. Oh right, that looks so, like Taken. Yeah, exactly well, like all Taken. All movies look like Taken. That's true. But have you seen that airplane? The, the, the yeah, the, the airplane, airplane one movie where he's like, like much, yeah, yeah nonstop. It's just Taken in the sky. Oh, okay. And I don't know, like outside of the Taken franchise. Yeah. Like taking two and taking three are terrible, but uh, outside take, take three and take three and yeah, that's how they spell the poster. Yep. But um, outside of those, like his like nonstop was like pretty, it's pretty good. Like yeah. it was just like oh it wow. Made, it made saw, me stop and think. I saw. Yeah, it made me think. No, it just <laughs> but it just it just made me stop and say oh okay that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I was trying to do to stop. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> but anyways, but uh, <laughs> no. So run all night. It looks like another taken rip off with. Uh, it might be fun. Cool. Ed Harris is in it, and I feel oh, like that's okay. a really cool pairing to go. Those guys going against each other, right? So uh, it, may, it might be cool. Who like knows? It, it's kind of like Stallone and Arnold going against each other, um, but this way, yeah. Don't, oh Jesus! <laughs> but this way, it's um, it, it, it's like a guy you wouldn't expect to be such a, a tough guy like Liam Neeson right. going Williams. against another guy you don't expect to be that tough, but yeah. he also is. Yeah. So, tough on tough. Well, they're not really tough. They're more menacing, these guys. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Moving on uh, to... Moving on to... March 20th. March 20th. <laughs> Fair, there's an Fair, echo. There's an echo. There's that. All right. Okay. okay. Well, you can take it. <laughs> uh, we got Diver The Divergent Series, Insurgent. Oh, man. That's such an mm. ugly title. It's a really ugly <laughs> Divergent title. Insurgent. Uh, like, what are you, a sur I just, sur surgeant... I just, this is like, everyone's like, you have to read the books. It's not Hunger Games. It's Hunger Games. It, it is Hunger Games. Isn't it's, it like oh a competition man. to stay alive? Uh, it's something. Or they're fighting rebellion of the future school yeah. of America. And yeah, I have no... All teenagers are perfect, and they're trying to rebel against the adult. Like, oh my god. The young, the young adult genre itself, I just don't like. Because they say it's young adult, but usually it's just very simplified pandering to what they, into to kids, you know? Right. Like, kids, yeah. they want to be special, so they have to be the chosen one, you know? You are but, special. Um, you are the yeah. s most specialist man out of all the other men. Or women. Or women. Yeah. Or women. <laughs> Can't <laughs> leave them out. It stars Shailene Woodley. Do you, what, what do you know about her? I've seen her in, uh, <laughs> what was so, that show? Amer Secret Life of American Teen. Yeah, that was a terrible show. <laughs> but she's like, but she's know, a cutie. I don't know why she's. It must just because she's a cutie. Because she's getting work. Like she's getting know. work. Yeah, I don't know like, why she's. so... I don't know. Good. Uh, yeah, I have no real opinion on this because I haven't seen the first one. I'm not interested in seeing this one. So uh, that's that's it for me. Yeah. Uh, um, anything else uh, for that for that week? For that whole week, I think. I, I don't know. Who cares? Uh, gunman. That sounds familiar. Oh, right? gunman. Gunman. Oh, it's with it's that Sean Penn movie. Oh, The Gunman. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. It's, it's this movie based on a novel, and um, I don't know. It looked, I don't know. It, it actually looked pretty cool. It had uh, mm -hmm. Javier Bardem, um, and if I, you know what, you have to see uh, Beautiful. Oh. It's on Netflix right now. Is it a beautiful movie? It is. It's actually beautifully shot, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty it's beautiful. It's pretty beautiful, but it's like, Javier Bardem, I'm, I just, I watched the movie, I'm like, this guy is like, really good. Like, and he does not get enough credit, and so... 
He's in there. Idris Elba's in there. Ray Winstone. Ray Winstone. That's my yes. That's my Rain Winstone impression. <laughs> uh, that's, very nice. Very nice. So, and also all led by Sean Penn. Like I feel like oh, it could right. be a good movie. I don't know if I'll see it, but maybe, right. you know, I feel like that's a movie my dad would like. So, uh-huh. I'll, all right. So uh, we'll I, I guess we'll uh, jump on to the next weekend, uh, which is oh, we got Get Hard. The Will Smith? Or the Will, Will Smith. Smith. Will Ferrell. Will, Smith. Will, Will Ferrell, Ferrell and the uh, Kevin Hart movie. You know why I thought that? Because like in the poster for that movie, uh, Will Ferrell is like getting the cornrows right. by, by, by Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. So I was like, yeah. oh, cornrows. Will Smith, like, hey, Will, no. Will Smith doesn't have cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, never mind. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's move on. Um, <laughs> but do uh, you think this is going to be a funny movie? Uh, it might be funny. It might not be. What was the last really good Will Ferrell movie? Oh, Anchorman 2. That was Anchorman 2 was not as good as the first one that I saw. Yeah, thought. but... I, it was a funny movie, though. It, yeah. was a, it had some really funny parts to it. Yeah. Um, um, and, like, Kevin Hart is, like, in everything now. You know, so, he's, he's real close to my heart, that guy. You really like Kev- oh, Kevin Hart. Yeah, do, do you get it? Hart, hearty Hart Hart. These but, are the jokes, people. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, get better I, than this. <laughs> exactly. But Tur- so, uh, do you think uh, this the, is going to be funny? Go away now. Uh, what? Do you think this is going to be funny, <laughs> uh, Get Hart? It might, once again, it might be, it might not be. I don't know. It's kind of a hit or miss for uh, Will Ferrell movies. Some of yeah. them are funny. Some of them are just... Some are, of them are... Um, oh, just okay. Pineapple. Not pineapple. Uh, some of them are just pineapple. No, pi- not... A, I was going to say Pineapple Express. He was in there. <laughs> what? Uh, Blades of Glory. That was... Yeah. That was... Right. That pineapple was Express funny. is funny, by the way. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> and also we got Home, which is a DreamWorks animated movie. Oh. Their only movie of this year usually DreamWorks has like two or three movies a year yeah this this year only one and it's home and uh home um has Steve uh Rihanna Rihanna oh oh already Steve Martin oh okay and uh Jim Parsons um from uh Big Bang Theory oh he's Sheldon right y- yes yeah yeah okay. Sheldon um uh yeah because there's been uh some problems I guess going on in uh at DreamWorks, they had to uh, fire some people in the animation mm-hmm. department. Um, well, whoever casted Rihanna in anything should be fired. Fired immediately. Yeah. Except for her part in This is the End. It was pretty funny. But other than that... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I never okay. saw that yet. Um, um, <laughs> but, um, but uh, it's, yeah, it's their only movie. It was originally supposed to come out last year, mm-hmm. but then they switched it with the Penguins of Madagascar movie. Mm-hmm. Um, this looks not good. I, I yeah. don't know. Uh, every trailer so far just looks like really generic. Really, you were talking about it in such detail. I was like, maybe it's gonna be good. Like, he's no, it's not. I just know a lot because I'm a big animation guy. Yeah, I get you. Um, but uh, no, it just does not look good. It looks really just not funny. Mm-hmm. Very generic story. Rihanna, who cares? Yeah. Well, I'm just I wonder why they why she's in the movie well, I'm because amazed. she's perfect for the role, right? Yeah. No, I'm amazed though that. Um, <laughs> Steve Martin is in this movie. Yeah, he might be funny. I don't no, know. No, but like, this is the first movie since like that Jack Black bird watching movie. Oh yeah, like 2011. Like, geez, this is what brought him back. Like, yeah, we got back, uh, brought back from the grave. Yeah, like, um, <laughs> but, but no, like, uh, no, it just looks. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be wrong because I'll, I'll I'll see it probably because you know once again animation guy. But um, I don't know. It doesn't look anything special, and I'm really disappointed. This is their only movie. DreamWorks' yeah. is only movie this year, so yeah, hopefully it's a good one because that'll be it for them this year. And um, uh, I that's all for, for me for March. Okay, that's March, everyone. Moving on to April. We got uh, uh, just just in the whole month of April. Monsters: The Dark Continent. Have you heard about Monsters? No, I haven't seen it either. We should watch it though soon. It's this. Um, it, uh, it's this. Uh, story about uh these guys are traveling through this wasteland and there's monsters there and they have to like escape the monsters well i hope there would be monsters yeah. in a movie called monsters but like um and it's the same guy who directed godzilla so oh really gareth yeah. edwards yeah, that, right? yeah that's, that's it him? yeah and i don't know if he's doing the sequel to this but oh I, that's right monsters was yeah his first movie that he made yeah. on his computer yeah yeah it's <laughs> and yeah this is a sequel you're right yeah and i don't think he is directing this because he is now working on a star, star wars, wars spinoff okay yeah it's um, not the same guy. so no i don't think it is no nope, it's not but I, it's two people actually brent and jesse atlas yeah so they even try to i, I can't brent, even pronounce uh, brent, brent's, brent's uh, last name, name. Yeah, yeah last name um, but yeah, just so that something, uh, 
you should, I don't know, that's something to look forward to, I guess, Monsters, or at least see, we'll see the original, and then see, try to see, see yeah, Monsters. Maybe, yeah, uh, I'm curious. Uh, I'll see the first one and see if I'll right. check that out. The so Dark April Continent, 3rd, April 3rd. There's, uh, are you excited for uh, Vroom Vroom Vroom? Mm -hmm. Furious 7. Not even Fast and Furious. You want to say you want to say Fast and Furious Seven? No, it's yes. It's just Furious, Furious 7, Seven this time. I have never seen any of them. Really? I oh wow, you're. I heard out. they get a lot better. You know the. I'm not even going uh, yeah. to. Sequels like Five Six and uh, yeah Five Six are well, like really fun. When the with the addition of the Rock, it just gets yeah really the Rock cool. man. It's and this is uh, directed by uh, Justin Wong. Who, right, who did the Saw movie? Oh, I'm sorry, not James Wong. James just, Wong. Sorry, yeah, yeah. He did the Saw movies and he did Insidious and Conjuring. Yeah, so this is like a, a horror movie director doing an action movie. Yeah. It and might be interesting they, to see. They do some pretty cool like stunts just in the trailer alone. So yeah, I can't wait to see that ghost. Um, so I talk about how shame on you, Nick. What? What? Paul Walker. What? Oh, what did I do? You, no. What? I'm. Are you? You're gonna cry in the theater. You've been making no, a lot. I'm of, not. You've been making a lot of Paul Walker jokes, and you're gonna cry in the theater when we see. No, I'm not. I can't <laughs> wait to see that ghost. I hope he waves Gee, high. Oh, I wow. hope he's doing well. I hope he spooks me a little. <laughs> and okay. that's all I have to say about that. So uh, let's. Uh, anything else that week that you're interested I'm, in? I'm, I'm, I'm I think it's just Fury Seven that that week. I think it's gonna dominate that week. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Um, so let's move on to April 10th. Uh. Yeah, okay. So what I you, think the only movie that I'm interested in seeing is Ex Machina. I was just going to say that, yeah. Um, which looks pretty interesting. It's about... I have no idea what yeah. this is about, actually. So you, Yeah, I, did movie. you see the trailer for it? No, I did not. I saw, yeah, that one trailer for it. It was like... It's basically about a guy who makes a robot that looks almost exactly like a real woman. Oh, yeah. And it's weird because you don't know exactly like if the guy is like making her do things or it's the robot that's like evil. I, I get, at least from the trailer, it, it makes you think that. At least, at least, it made me think that. I just wanted to mention it because of the cast. Well, uh, who was it was in it? Um, um, Oscar Isaac. Oh right, what? he'll be uh, he'll be Apocalypse in the next X Men hey, movie. He's in uh, Star Wars and right, right. Um, Dom Hald Gleason. He's also going to be in Star Wars too. Right, but he was also he was the guy he was the redheaded Frank. Oh, so he's in oh, that's movie. right. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. There's some really. He was good in Frank. Up and coming. Well, actually, I think they're already here. Uh, so, so really <laughs> young, really young. He's an up and coming. Talent. Well, yeah. he's here. <laughs> there's some, like there's some like really nice fresh talent. I'll say. Yeah. No, I'll I'll probably check it out. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm interested. I I probably won't see a trailer for it. I'll go in knowing nothing. And right. See yeah. How it is. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't watch any more trailers after the first one. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's all for that. That's yeah. That's basically nothing it. I, nothing out. else. Yeah. Uh, next week. I see three movies right off the bat that uh, uh, two I have no interest in seeing. One I'm really I'm pretty looking forward to. Uh, you want to take a guess? Um, the one you're looking forward to? The one I'm looking forward to. What do you think? Oh, well, I think I got I. I'm reading you right now. Yeah. I think I got it. Okay. Paul Blart Mall Cop Two. Wow! Get out of my head. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. please! Yeah. You oh know me God. too well. No, uh, okay. I want to put on the record that no, I do not support Paul Blart Mob Cop Two. <laughs> by the way, I am a Paul Blart. I a Paul Blart. Uh, a a Paul. A Paul Blart. Hate I'm it. an no. I'm anti Paul Blart. Yeah. I, I can't believe this you, movie's even made. By the way, why like, is this happening? This was such like it was a. Well, I know why it's happening. No, yeah, ching but, -ching, but, but like, it's a crappy movie that came out in January. And like, but like. Eons ago, yeah, and now it's back. In Stone Ages, Kevin's, like who knew they had movies in the Stone Ages? What is Kevin James even doing? Like he's back. Like he's so well, weird. he's back. He's, I don't know where he came. <laughs> I don't know where he. Go. He was an up and comer, I guess, too. Yeah, but he came. Moving on to a movie, he that came back. We're not looking forward to. Actually, I don't know. Uh, Unfriended. What do you think about this? It looks so dumb. Someone, it looks so right. stupid. Someone, I might see it just because it looks so terrible someone, that it looks. It looks hilarious. Someone said that they, they were like they were like, oh, it could be good, but I know I sound like a hypocrite because I I don't want to see Fifty Shades, but that's that doesn't even look funny. Bad. This looks like hilariously bad. It's basically a horror movie. On Skype. There's this part in the trailer where like the fat kid like they're like don't do it don't do it and like he's like putting his hand in a blender. But, why? Like, but, like, you why don't know he how doing? he's doing this. Like why, how this is controlling it. it has maybe to be maybe go. he's a little hungry. 
Yeah, it unfriended. All right, you got to just you know what? We're not even going to talk about a friend too much. Yes. Yeah. I just got yeah. that joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about Unfriended. Just watch the trailer and it's... This movie, we're unfriending it. Yeah. We're Moving on. on. Yeah. April 24th. Actually, no. No? Yeah, th- th- I said three movies. One oh, sorry. To. Back to... <laughs> wait, let's jump on back to April 17th. The one I'm looking forward to coming out is Child 44. Uh-huh. Have you uh, heard about this movie? It's with Tom Hardy. Nope. Okay, it's also Gary Oldman and I think there's like another guy of note... Uh, oh wait! Uh, I think we saw a trailer for it. Yeah. Um. When we for, were when, when we, we saw the lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Naomi Rapace. Uh huh. Uh, she was also she was in Prometheus. Oh, sweet. So, but sweet what? Sweet. sweet. This is about. It's just, it's just a cool story, and um, if I remember the trailer correctly, it's this um, uh, this government official who has to track down um these murderers, but while the government's saying like there is no murderers. So, mm-hmm. and, like, he has to, like, Ooh. go against, you know... It's a mystery. Yeah, and, like... <laughs> I, I, and then, like, there's this part of the trailer where, like, they're, like, there's 44... There's 43 murders. Yeah. He's, like, no, 44. <laughs> One was my friend's son. And then, like, the government guy was, like... How do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. It's just, like... I probably, I probably butchered the whole synopsis of it, but... It, it well, actually, someone butchered someone in that movie. <laughs> well, uh, apparently, forty-four children. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> but it looks really cool, actually. I'm, I, I think it's um, you know how uh, Tom? Have you seen Lock yet? No, no I want to. I want to. Though. Tom Hardy. He always like gives out these like really good performances in the middle of the year, and then like no one ever. <laughs> always looks, in the middle. Everyone always look, overlooks him, and I feel like this is gonna be one of them. Well, hopefully, it's good. Yeah. Uh, once again, I might check it out. April twenty fourth. I see nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. All right. Okay, May, May 1st. The Avengers Age of Ultron. Who is not excited oh, for this yeah. movie? Who is not on the hype train for Ultron? I think, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there's really nothing else to say. Like, uh, I'm excited. I've seen one trailer. I'm not going to see the other ones. I, you yeah. know, I've, I'm sold already. Yeah. You know, why, why, would, why would I want to see more when I'm I already really, sold? Uh, um, yeah. I know. I just like that. So, in the trailer, like the, the Hulk fighting Iron Man. That whole scene. Yeah. I just, um, I don't feel anything, like, in my soul. <laughs> I feel I don't know. nothing. No, but, like, uh, it's just, like, two CGI monsters just duking well, it Well, it's out of context, so maybe with no, context I, it might be a little more exciting. Yeah, I know. It's just, like, I don't know. I'm really excited for it. it did, I, maybe it's just an early trailer, but, like, it didn't even look finished either. Well, so it probably, I don't think it is. <laughs> hopefully they will, they will finish it. But I think... It might be it might be better than the first one because it just like because they're gonna there's gonna be three four movies yeah the, you know usually in, in a trilogy because I guess you can count um, the Infinity Wars one and two as a, mm-hmm. one big movie I guess um, in a trilogy this is the second one and usually in the middle act of a trilogy it's the darkest mm-hmm. and I think it, just like uh, something like Empire Strikes Back mm-hmm. in a Star Wars. Um, this is the one where they lose, maybe. And that's going to be oh, really, really interesting to watch, maybe. It, it might be really dark. It might be something different. So it's, I, that's why that's why I'm the most excited for it. And Ultron looks awesome. Yeah, it's um, funny you bring up uh, uh, Star Wars because the big head honcho over at Marvel Studios, uh, Kevin Feige, right. he came out and he said, like, this phase, we really wanted it. We took a lot from Star Wars. Mm-hmm. So... Um, uh, we took a lot from Star Wars, such as like, uh, like like everyone loses a hand in every movie, and I was like, "What, really?" And then you think about it. So there's the girl uh, from the extremist virus. Uh, like remember, like uh, that one soldier. That's she right. lost her. So that's Iron Man three, Whoa. Thor two, uh, that uh, trickster scene with Loki. All right, with the Thor, hand. Thor loses oh. hand. Oh. And Captain America three, you have or Captain America two, two, you have Bucky losing his arm. <gasps> Oh, and finally in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Racco- the Rocket Raccoon loses his arm. No, no. Oh, never mind. No, jeez. Uh, <laughs> you, you I thought that's what that. happened in the movie. No, it was um, that blue chick, Nebula. She lost her hand when she got attached to the ship. That's right. So everyone loses like every movie. Who's loses. gonna lose an arm in Avengers: I Age of Ultron? Know. Who knows? No, but I feel like maybe it's Hulk. I feel like this was just like a, like a. Um, it was just like the the lose coincidence. lose arm phase. It's such a weird coincidence. <laughs> phase one lose arm phase. Yeah, 
No, no, no. But what about, um, also you said something, you think Ultron looks cool? Yeah. I think he looks pretty cool too, but at the same, like, I thought about it and, okay, so in the comics, he's just like this blank slate as a, yeah. you know, he's just a robot. Um, what do you think about, um, but like now in the movie is his face. I can, I don't know, what do you think about that? I feel, I, I feel like it'd be cooler if it was just, he had no emotion in his face, like no. I think that'd be cooler, but... You, you haven't seen much of his like full form, well, and also apparently he has like look, seven forms. Yeah. So maybe he'll look like more sinister as yeah. he you know evolves or whatever to his. That's other gonna phases. be really cool to see him evolving. Well, yeah, I hope. Yeah. To, I hope you know the ones that we've seen in the trailer. Like that's just not it. You know, there's more to it. Well, oh, right, right, but it's just. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, we're we're both of course excited. We'll definitely see it, and uh, yeah, can't wait. Uh, hopefully, you know, as I said, it's uh, middle act of. Uh, uh, trilogy, you know, yeah, a, a yeah. good a good middle act of a trilogy. Right, right. Um, all right, so we got May eighth. Nothing. May Nothing. 8th, yeah. May fifteenth, we got Mad Max Fury Road. Now, um, have you seen the other Mad Max movies? No, but I, I kind of want to now because after this trailer, it. yeah. Um, and Tom Hardy's in this again, right? That's right. Yeah, I feel he like is. this could be the year of Tom Hardy. Like, mm -mm. Yeah, delicious. Well, okay. <laughs> well, but, I wouldn't say that. But like, he is. Uh, uh, it looks really cool, but also uh, Charlie Theron. Uh, yes, uh, so I like that's a name. Yeah, no, no, she's also in there, and like, okay, there's like a rumor, like it's actually supposed to be about um, uh, Theron instead of Harday. Harday, so, yeah. But like, it's, it'd be like something like Mad Magazine or something. But Mad Magazine. <laughs> but it looks so cool. It's the and it's the same director of the original ones. Oh, and okay. he's saying like, I always wanted to do this, but the technology was never there, and now Ooh, it's but here. But now he's back. And now he's back, and and nice. it looks pretty. It looks pretty insane. Yeah. Which is why uh, I, I probably want to see it. Yeah. And, and the color too, like all that yeah. like, orange, and orange desert tint, like hot warm yeah. colors. They're and dirty, really cool. dirty looking. Yeah, like, um, this guy and Neil Blomkamp, I think, do a really good job of making, like, a very gritty atmosphere. Oh, yeah, know? totally. Um, all right. Oh, no, uh, we, got we also got Pitch Perfect yeah. 2. Never saw the first one. Oh, really? Uh, I heard oh. it's not bad, actually. It, no? Okay, the first one, I have no problem with. I think it's delightful and pleasant. And then, then I see... Probably um, because of Anna Kendrick, right? Anna Kendrick is... And also there's <laughs> She other, is delightful. There's also some other people. Now... And Kendrick's in everything, and not that I am complaining, right? <laughs> but she's in everything, and also uh, that the fat girl. Oh right, uh, Rebel Wilson. Yeah, she's in it, and she's in she it. is she's... not. She's not funny, honestly. I don't know. I, I haven't seen the first one, so I. But like, I don't know. The first, she was okay in the first one, then she kind of overdid it with every. I don't know. She's. I don't. But um, the only my only saving grace about this yeah. is. Uh, Elizabeth Banks is directing this. What? Yeah, do you know? Who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, right? No. No. <laughs> Wait. That's Emily Blunt. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I made sure because you had a. <laughs> Wait, no. Nick. Yeah. We're not talking about her. Are you sure? Sure, she you know what we're talking about? Effie Trinket in uh, Hunger Games. Oh. She's really, <laughs> I'm joking. She's, like, she's, like now I know who it is. Yeah. I'm just like no. She's really oh. funny though. She's like one of my favorite. Like I find her very pretty. Of course. And I find her very delightful. Delightful and, and full very, of sunshine and rainbows. And very funny. I really like her. <laughs> All right. So uh, maybe I'll see it if I see the first one. Um, May twenty second, we got Tomorrowland, which I'm so hyped for. It, I literally, it's like top three, like. For me, really, uh, most top three, most like number three, or I'm really anticipating okay. for this movie. I'm really hyped for this movie. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I, I get you. Um, yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, the the tr these are the best trailers for a movie, like a big yeah. blockbuster movie you, I've seen in a while. Yeah, you have no idea what this and movie is, it. and, and I, love I love it. And one of the big reasons I'm so excited for it is because it is directed by Brad Bird, who did The Incredibles, oh, yeah. um, Ratatouille, which uh, both Incredibles and Ratatouille are. One of my favorite movies of all time. He also did some live action, right? Yes, he did Mission Impossible 4, oh, which I heard is which, like the best which one. Which is, is, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, which I should see because I love Brad Bird. Um, and uh, he's, he also directed Iron Giant, which is also one of my favorite movies of oh, all time. Cool. So, he does really well with the like, futuristic yeah. themes. Mm -hmm, totally, that's, yeah. So that's why I'm so excited for this oh, because man, I, I nice. love his, his past work. Yeah, I'm, uh, so I have, like, yeah, I have no doubt like, but, this will be really good. I mean, yeah, Avengers, like, of course I like it, but, like, 
because but I, I I go in knowing what to expect pretty much. You know? Right. Yeah. But for this Tomorrowland, nothing. I have like no no. You can't. No. You have no expectations. Yeah. And that's that's a great thing because like you know like I get to go finally go in and sit down and be surprised. Right. And yeah, this is great. And they're also George Clooney's in this. Yeah. And, and he's great. And Hugh Laurie, House, Doctor. Yeah, Hush. that's right. He is he's such a cool cast. Yeah, you don't even know the the half of the half of the movie yet. I'm so yeah. excited for it. Um, we got May 29th. Anything interesting? Oh, um, for there's, you. Uh, oh, well, actually, going back to May 22nd. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, Spy. Yeah. Uh, did, did you see the trailer for this? No. It's, uh, I Melissa spy McCarthy. with my little eye. It's just Melissa, Melissa McCarthy comedy. Oh. She's well, it's probably just gonna be the. It's, she falls down. Whoop. <laughs> yep, that's it. No, that's exactly it. She falls down. I think. Like, <laughs> In the trailer. Yeah, and it's. That's just, the whole trailer. Just her falling. And you know, <laughs> doing spy stuff like with the it's, rope, trying to get a jewel. She's just like, whoops! <laughs> but it's amazing. Like her entire career depends. It's just on, falling down. <laughs> well, it, or, it just depends. Or rolling on her around. Being, it depends on her being fat. Like if she yeah, ever if she, lost weight, she would not be. People wouldn't find her funny anymore. Yeah, she's actually funny because she's, she's a funny, funny person. <laughs> yeah, not because she's fat. No, not because she's fat. But everyone thinks the joke is that she's fat. Yeah, no, the joke is that she's a funny person. Yeah. Like it bothers me. And this movie just kind of shows it. Yeah, sure. Uh, the guy with Bridesmaids directing it, I guess that's good. But I guess. I just, it's, they're just banking on her being a, a, a fat lady, not a funny yeah. lady. And I think that's kind of, it's kind of repulsive in a way. Every fat person is funny because they're fat. That's the moral of the story. That's not <laughs> the exact opposite. Of <laughs> I know, that's the All point. All right, uh, um, May, May 29. Uh, May, nothing interesting. San, San Andreas, you're not interested? No. Nope. The, the rock movie with everything exploding? It looks, it looks terrible. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not interested. Yeah, it, looks it doesn't like interest good, me at least. It's like a good rental, I guess. I don't know. Um, so all right, we'll, we'll so we got on. June fifth. Um, we got Insidious, Insidious Chapter oh, Three. I have not seen a trailer or anything for this. There is a trailer for it. Oh, I really? checked it out. It's like a completely different family now. It's directed not by James Wan this time, but by his co-director. Um, I believe his name is or her name. Uh, her name? No, I. I think Lee, it's a guy. Lee Wanell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that person's directing it. Um, yeah, I like the first two. I, I think I like the, the second one even more. Really? And uh, it's nice. It's like it's like traditional horror, but in the best way possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like yeah. very well executed. Well, I haven't seen the second one. I saw the first one, and it was it wasn't so much as scary as is. It was more fun. Just also fun and just interesting. Like yeah, it's also fun and scary. You like, don't see that a lot in horror movies. Yeah. It's just like yeah. you should be really scared for this person it's a monster or you know whatever but are you still excited for this movie without um james wan at the helm i think uh yeah because because the guy has done the other two with him so okay, yeah it's not like I, it's a completely new guy do, you know doing this third chapter so i'm excited i haven't i've never seen the, the insidious movies in theaters this mm -hmm. time i think i will oh perfect hopefully that doesn't mean it's the worst one because you're I go into the theater because yeah. I'm paying for it and going yeah. to see it in the theater, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm pretty excited for that. Nothing else. Well, also um, I'm, uh, Entourage. Uh, oh, sorry. No, no. Never I, mind. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's move on. And then Glenn's like, no, Nick. There's always I got something to talk a, about. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't like. Oh, okay. Have you, have you ever seen Entourage? Nope. Well, it's a movie's coming out about it, so uh, okay. Um, all right. So uh, cool. next movie, uh, June twelfth. Um, Jurassic World. Okay, what do so, you go first? I, I don't know what to... I am excited for this movie. Mm -hmm. I, I hope it is good. I'm cautiously optimistic because I don't know for sure if it will be mm -hmm. good. I don't know. Because people complain or are complaining mm -hmm. that there's too much CGI in the movie. And while the first Jurassic Park had... CGI, but like CGI, they also use practical had effects. A lot of practical effects. Yeah. And in the newest trailer or teaser in the Super Bowl, um, there is a shot of a real animatronic uh, practical effect of a you know yeah. a dinosaur. Yeah, but just um, one shot. I don't, know. I don't know. Hopefully, there's more. You know, not just that one uh, dinosaur. You know what? I I saw the first trailer and I loved it, and then when I saw the Super Bowl spot. Uh, for this movie, I was. I think like, I, I was more excited because of really? the Super Bowl spot. It, it, I got. I get. I had the opposite reaction. It was the at the end, like you know, where the, the boys were like trapped in that like glass car, or right? Whatever. It's like, and yeah. then like you see the Velociraptor claw like poke at the window, yeah. which is kind of weird if you think about it. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. 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 That's I'm what coming he's, in now. Just knocking in. 
that reminded me, it was supposed to like be an homage to the original where like the uh right, the Tyrannosaurus T-Rex. just like came in and like like bit through the roof. Mm-hmm. But that's not uh like like <laughs> that's like, not but like that. It, you know why there's something there that bit through that roof? Well, this yeah. is just a computer and it's pretty and you know what? The kids were probably even in the same room. Yeah, there's no real dinosaurs in there's no real dinosaurs in this one. I, well, at least real. I'm, jo- I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Yeah. yeah. But it's, so no, like, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of practical effects in the movie. But like, I, I, I understand what you mean by that. Yeah, yeah. But like, I guess it'd be kind of cool if Chris Pratt's in it. And yeah, and he's he's good. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, he'll be good. All right. So we got uh, June nineteenth. One movie I'm very very excited for is. Pixar's Inside Out. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Pixar's back uh, after last year, twenty fourteen. They, they, they had no movie. They, took, uh, they, they didn't release. They didn't release any movies uh, in twenty fourteen. Um, so their last movie was Monsters University in twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. Um, this is uh, their first original movie since well, Brave. So mm-hmm. it's not that long ago. But um, um, people are really excited for this yeah. as well as myself. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very Original idea, I think, or a very creative idea at least. So just, uh, but the idea is, if I get this right, um, they're just emotions uh, in a young. Yeah, person. happy, sadness, fear, anger, cool. disgust, um, and, and their characters, and uh, I, I, I think that's very creative. Though. I'm looking at the cast list right now. Yeah, it, it's. Amazing. It's a great cast. It's um, the Amy Poehler, Louis Black is anger. Well, yeah, Amy Poehler is joy, which is yeah, perfect. she's she's joy. Bill Hader is fear. Uh, yes, Mindy Colling good. as disgust. Yeah, and uh, Phyllis Smith as sadness. Who fails from the office? Right, and she's, <laughs> and she's that's perfect for her. Yeah. Um. So yeah, trailer, it's like a great cast. You see the trailer when like, uh, sad the character of sadness just like walking yeah. out of the. <laughs> she's just walking. She like, looks at the audience. She's like and then sighs she, and then walks back. <laughs> and then walks back. Um. But yeah, no, it's a. Uh, it seems like to be a very creative movie. Yeah. Um. Which we haven't seen. A lot of in Pixar movies recently, just because you know they're a little bit less good than they have been, sort of. Mm-hmm. Um, well, like yeah, I, I, I think it was pretty much Brave and Monsters. Monsters University, University was okay. Brave was just. Ugh. Well, I, 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 I like the movies more than some people do, yeah. but I, I do agree. You know, Pixar. But they're not like it's not as good as their other works. I saw those stories. I saw Brave and Monsters University and various other movies. I think Inside Out is something so new and like something yeah. really interesting. Yeah, so I hope in a way it's like a return to form for them yeah. because it, it it looks so great. And uh, yeah, I'm just so excited for it. Definitely like um, my my top like most anticipated movie of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, Pete Doctor's directing it. He has done Up and Monsters Inc. Oh really? Yeah. So he's oh, done okay. you know the uh, great movies. He's oh, wow. before um, or directed great movies before. Uh, yeah. So I'm very excited about it. It's um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. So, uh, that, now we move on to June 26th. All right, uh, that, so with them we have pretty much Ted 2. What do yeah. you think about that? I think it's good that <laughs> it's a, it's a bigger story than the first one at mm-hmm. least, or a more significant story, mm-hmm. because the first one was just like, yep, um, they're chilling out, he's gonna get married yeah. to Mila Kunis, the guy, Mark Wahlberg. After a million ways to die in the West, I yeah kind of lost you don't a know. little bit of faith for Seth. Yeah, because I heard that was not a good and movie. even Family Guy right now is kind of crap. Oh, even, Family Guy, even like though like he doesn't right do, even though he doesn't Carl's write not it. part of it anymore, yeah. still. he's just doing the voices now. Yeah, um, yeah, but uh, I'm I'm kind of excited for it. It had some funny jokes in it. I I have uh, I have hope for the movie because yeah. I did like Ted One a lot. Ted, <laughs> yeah, Ted One, Ted. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, uh, let's move on to July. Uh, July first, Terminator Genesis. Not excited at all for it. Yeah. Your your thoughts? I don't know. I just it looks yeah, it, it looks, looks really bad to yeah, me. I don't know. There's like every yeah yeah dumb. Because that know. one trailer is just like they're just quoting like the other movies. Well, it's it has terrible. a cool like cast with uh you know uh they have you've seen Game of Thrones. Emilia Clarke is nope. a young Sarah. Not yet at least. Oh yeah. Well, she is a uh, like she's in the movie. She is. I know I say Anna Kendrick's cutie. Amelia the cutiest. Amelia <laughs> Clark is a cutie. The cutiest. Um, so you know I have no. I'm not going to see this. Pro- well, I will see, but I, I don't. I'm. I'm very much not yeah. interested in this movie. Um, then we got Magic Mike XXL, which never which saw the first one. My mom will be going to see. 
Oh, so my mom's okay. going to see Fifty Shades my and your mom. mom's going to see Magic Mike. Kind of shows us. Oh, maybe they can go on a little date together yeah. and see uh, Magic Mike yeah. XXL. Kind of shows um, about, a little, about what, how we're raised. Yeah, both, both of our moms. Um, we, um, it's, I don't know. I didn't see the first one. Um, yeah. So I'm probably not, probably not going to see this one, but I don't know. Girls, girls like seeing it because uh, yeah, men's, least, men's um, bodies, yeah. rock hard abs. At least Channing Tatum is less. He's good. I, I like he's him. A, he's a less obnoxious, and I actually like him. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. Uh, let's move on to July tenth, which uh, which we got Minions. Um, I am pretty excited for it. Yeah. Um, I in, very much enjoy the Minions from the Despicable Me movies. Mm-hmm. Um, Despicable Me Two was a pretty fun movie. Um, mm-hmm. Nothing you know groundbreaking or great or anything, but it, you know it's a cute little movie. <laughs> Just nothing great, but it was a fun movie. Oh, well, it's, okay, it's yeah. a fun movie. Um, it's um. The minions for me, I don't know, like, uh, you love them, I find them so annoying. Really? I don't think I have a soul, because everyone else seems to love them. I don't know, I mean, I'm not, like, obsessed, but, like, I think they're enjoyable when they are enjoyable. Yeah. Which is most of the time. Maybe now that I'm getting them, because, like, before they always just seemed like these, like, weird side characters, they just kept getting into the story. Now that the story is just about them, I think I might like them a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, Because I can yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, It should be cute. It should be fun. Uh, July seventeenth, we got Ant Man. Um, this is what I'm. Avengers two, I know is going to be great. Um, Ant Man, I have very. <laughs> I don't, okay, look, I, I don't think it's going your to eyes be, are widening here. Yeah, like, well, oh well, this movie. I don't think it's going to be bad because everyone's saying like, oh, without because originally Edgar Wright, uh, who did like Shaun of the Dead, was supposed to. Uh, uh, direct it, and now he dropped out, and everyone's saying like he probably won't do a good job. To what to what that I say, <laughs> to that I rebuttal. <laughs> um, this is like something so new and so weird and so wacky, and I think the first trailer was really bad, and I think I feel like there's a bit <laughs> different tone to this movie than the trailer put yeah, out. Yeah, because um, people were complaining about Guardians in the Galaxy. Were and, they really? Yeah, they were I, like, oh, this looks so dumb. This. I, now, when the trailer came around, I thought everyone was like, You're going to so see cool. it anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I'm excited for it, too. I, I just want to see. It, once again, it's risky like uh, Guardians. It, it's risky and new. This is something. Yeah, exactly. I can't, you know, most of the movies in the Phase 3 are all like fresh, new yeah. characters, which I'm very much excited for. We're uh, kind of running a little short on time here, so yeah. you want to do a lightning round here? Yeah, uh, let's I'll, do a lightning round where I'll, we're going to have... You you do the rest of July and August, then I'll do the rest. Okay, of... and then we'll just go yay or nay and exactly. Yes. Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. Poltergeist. Nay. Yay. Maybe. Okay. Pen. Yay. Yay. Pixels. And I mean, uh, yay. <laughs> Kevin Smith is or Kevin James is in that too. Yeah, yeah. Mission Impossible Five. And yay. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic Four. And, uh, in the middle. Don't know. Yeah, me too. Uh, the man from Uncle, uh, Henry Cavill, stars as a spy. I don't know. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I guess. Eh. Straight out of Compton, the uh, Ice Cube uh, documentary. Don't know this either. Oh, okay. I, uh, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Sinister um, Two. Sinister. Oh, Never saw the first one. Sinister. Oh wait, Sinister the first one. Okay. I'll, I'll, it's a creepy movie, right? Yeah, it's a creepy movie. I heard. I'll, I'll I heard it. this. I'll give it. Oh uh, um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is this was all August, by the way. I like season. Yeah, I like season. Uh, so now we got September. Uh, we got um um. <laughs> Nothing really. Wait, uh, we got Hotel Transylvania too. What? Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yes. I thought the first one was just okay. So I don't know. Oh, um, Black Mass. Uh, it's a movie starring Johnny Depp, and it's he's in a serious role. Oh, it's probably gonna suck. Uh, October oh. 2015. We got Frankenstein. Don't know anything much about this wait, movie, so oh, I don't know. Geez. We're sorry, we're in October now. Yeah, there's um, some. Wait, wait. Daniel Radcliffe is is he's as Igor in Igor? Frankenstein? Yes. Okay, uh, this is a big buy for me. <laughs> big yes, totally. <laughs> now I love it. I love it. This is gonna be the best movie of the year. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. We got yeah, we got Frankenstein. Um, October 9th, we got Steve Jobs. Yay! Yeah. Michael Fassbender is a great actor, so I and think also, he'll do a good job. Uh, Aaron Sorkin. This movie's been in, in the like, works for a while. For, yeah, years, and I'm, I can't wait to see it come out. Yeah, we got <laughs> Goosebumps, yay, because it looks kind of fun, and I with like Jack Black. Jack Black as, uh, as R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein. That's amazing, yeah. Which is pretty funny. Um, October 23rd, Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. No. Best no. title ever. Yeah. 
Oh, also, you forgot um, October 16th, Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak is with Tom Hiddleston. It's directed by Guillermo del Toro. Oh, nice. And yeah, I have no idea what it's about, but it's still a buy for me because right. I think it's. Ding, ding, ding cool. for you. Um, yeah, Paranormal Activity. Eh, no. All the of them are crap now. The Last Witch Hunter. Do you know uh, this? No. It's with Vin Diesel and it's uh, Elijah Wood. And I, I'm yeah. going to buy it just because <laughs> it looks kind of a cool fantasy thing, whatever. Okay, cool. Check October 30th. Um, nothing really there. No, um, no yeah. No, November, no. November, we got Silence. Do you know what the, that is something? No, no. Like, I don't know. We'll be, we'll be reminiscent. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's directed by Martin Scorsese. It has Andrew Garfield, Ken Watanabe, and Liam Neeson. Nice. Yeah, this is, uh, I, uh, it's something about, oh, uh, it's something about, like, missionaries in Japan, and... Ooh, silent missionaries. I guess, but... <laughs> I don't know. But, no, I think it looks really interesting. I want to see what he's, you know, and... Mark Scorsese, of course, wants to see what he's doing. But man, Glenn, you're making me speechless here. Oh yeah. You, you can even say, silent. Moving on. So anyway, November 6th. Uh, with November sixth, we got the Peanuts movie, which I'm very much excited for. That looks uh, really cool. For, yeah, on paper it sounds terrible because mm -hmm. it's the CGI uh, Charlie Brown movie. But it's not CGI. It's like it a, is. It's but it's like a but weird, it is. It's a weird CGI though. It's like Peter yeah, but Man, it, it makes right? it look like it's. 2D in a way. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a yeah. little more detailed 2D, but 2D. Mm -hmm. But it's actually uh, 3D. Uh, 3D animation. So uh, And also, coming yeah. out the same week, uh, uh, Oh yeah, Spectre, we got Bond, uh, James Bond. The new James Bond. And did you, so did you like Skyfall? Never saw it. Oh, I, I don't it, think I've seen any James Bond movie, actually. Whoa, that's a... We, gotta, we, have, to, we have to do that. Alright, we're going to do a big uh, James Bond. Oh, yeah, so a uh, Peanuts movie ding for me because it looks very interesting and, and the, the animation looks oh, very, sorry. very much unique. And Spectre, a uh, ding for me. Cool. Uh, well, I had ding. I'd say yes <laughs> for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a ding and uh. All right. Um, um, uh, we got Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. I really liked all the movies that I've seen. I haven't seen the first one, actually, but oh, really? it doesn't look like I need to. The first one um, was, kind of the, was the worst one. So. Yeah, so I, I really liked... Uh, hung, uh, what was the second one? Uh, Catching Fire. Catching Fire. And I really liked Mockingjay Part 1, so I'm excited for Part 2. Ding. Yeah. Or um, yes. <laughs> I feel like uh, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 was missing a lot of parts, and obviously because it's all going to be in the second one. Right. So I can't really review the first one without seeing... Because it's the first one I think is an incomplete movie. I think it's going to be finished. In the It'll probably one. be like a Harry Potter thing where the part two. Well, Harry more Potter movie. did it well. I don't think Iron Man did it well, but we'll have to wait and see. November twenty fifth. There's a lot of big movies. There's a this. big bunch of movies. Okay, Creed. Do you know what this is? No. It's a Rocky spinoff, and it's about uh, Apollo Creed. Oh, like, really? I, wait a minute. Real talk. Wow, that's <laughs> terrible. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you know who? But you know who's playing uh, uh, the guy. Mm -mm. Michael B. Jordan. Ooh. What? I Michael don't know. B. Jordan? I don't know. Fruit Bill Station. <laughs> He's uh, Johnny Storm in uh, Fa uh, Fantastic Four. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen his work before. He's a, no, he, uh, he's a really good guy. And I feel like, I mean, and Stallone's going to be in it, but I don't think it's going to be Stallone's movie. It's not like another, it's like a new thing. I got you. Um, um, we got The Good Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur, which is, who knew? Another Pixar movie this year. They've never done this before. Pixar uh, is releasing two movies this year. Um, both original, too, which is great. Uh, so we got Inside Out and this, The Good Dinosaur. This is directed by Peter Song. Um, and it has uh, a big cast like John Lithgow. Um, we got Bill Hader again for this. Oh, cool. Um, we got Judy Greer, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Another great cast, I oh, think. Oh, wow. Uh, Lucas Pixar Neff. Pixar gets the best cast. Yeah. Oh, man. Lucas Neff. Uh, yeah. Uh, great cast. Um... Uh, it looks very interesting. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't know. Uh, I prefer Inside Out. I prefer both. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think both could be have, have the potential to be great mm -hmm. movies. Um, so I'm very much excited for this. This is also one of my most anticipated of the year. Just because I'm a big fan of Pixar, maybe that's why. But still, I'm very excited for this movie. Don't know anything yet, but we will find out. Can't wait. All right, and let's uh, find, find December. And last, but yeah. certainly not least, let's go to December. So... Screw the other movies that we the, in uh, in December. Let's talk about Star Wars. Oh yeah, that's coming out. In <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Star Wars. Um, I wish we had more time to talk about it, but oh, unless you want to talk about Alvin and the Chipmunks uh, road chip. What? <laughs> Jeez. No, that's actually no. a thing. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, Alvin. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, Star uh, Wars. Star Wars. So it's excited. It's going to dominate you. this month. Yeah. It's going to dominate. I think it's going to probably number one until like February. Or yeah. March. But it might be. Yeah, I, I mean, think it. You know how people are crazy about their Star Wars. Yeah, but no, I think um, 
this is such a great cast. Yeah, a great cast, great director. Yeah, and uh, I, you know, it's just, a, and it's also a great movie to end the year with. Yeah, totally. I can't wait because it looks like they're going to use some practical effects again, and they're it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks great. The cast is a bunch of people I have no idea who mm-hmm. they are. So that's great. And you know, it's so cool because a lot of people like use Star Wars to like. That was their inspiration to like make their own movies. Oh yeah, totally. This Star Wars is using other movies to like um, inspire them. Inspire them. Like they got. You've seen um, uh, uh, that really. Oh, I, I, there. I forget the name, but there was this. <laughs> dang it! Like this really cool um, uh, punching movie. Ow! <laughs> yeah, stop punching me, dude. There's this really cool punching movie, and they actually got these like trained martial artists oh, to nice. uh, like. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm so excited for Star Wars. I feel like it has the potential to be a really good movie. J.J. Abrams is directing it. Yeah. He's good at what he does mm-hmm. directing. Um, uh, they also have a, a writer from, I think, the original trilogy. So that's cool. Uh, um, is it a writer or is it like a... Writer. Oh, screenplay. Okay. The screenplay. And I know they're writer. also doing the concept art off of... Um, the the old ones? Of the old ones, too. Oh, yeah. That's right. Some unused concept art. So That's right. So, yeah, very excited. It's going to be everyone's most anticipated yeah. movie of the year, I think. Eat your heart out, George um, Lucas. Yep. I hope you... Uh, uh, watch uh, watch the movie without knowing it because you're not involved. <laughs> okay, yeah, Go I don't know where you're going with eat, that. Eat but. your pizza, All right, George uh, Lucas, because just chill out, man. So, chill out. So that's we, basically it. Yeah, I think we ran a little long, but yeah, we sorry got a about lot that. of good movies come out this year. I'm excited. Yeah. You're excited. Yeah. No, well, that's why it's going too long. There's so many movies coming yeah. out that we're that we're there, we're we're excited for. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah. Anyways, I just like to end this. Uh, thank you, Nick. Oh, thank you, Glenn. Thank me again, and um, live a long <laughs> life and prosper, my man. And okay, and this has been real talk. Real talk. Floss your teeth, or not. <laughs>